Firstly, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, uh, the most merciful, peacing and pleasing be open to our Prophet Muhammad and all the messengers. Hello, my students, Dr. Abdallah with you. So, truly, really, my students, uh, today we want to make a different something. Okay, هناك اليوم. Okay, شرح مختلف تماما لقصة Treja Island. Exactly. Okay. So uh, the story of the Treja Island, uh, written by Robert Louis Stephen. Okay, and uh, we want to start, you know, from chapter one. Okay, Treja Island. Treja Island. Okay. If you are like this video, is a أعجبك هذا الفيديو, don't forget just you know subscribe. Okay, this حتى يصلك كل جديد. بإذن الله تعالى وعمل مشاركة على صفحة الدكتور عبد الله خليفة للشهادة السودانية أوكي حصص الشهادة السودانية طيب طلاب الأعزاء قصة تريج أيضاً started this story it's really a long time ago هذه القصة بدأت منذ وقت طويل أوكي in the date exactly 1756 so دعونا معا نشرح chapter one exactly so, a trailing story start in the small inn. What's the name of the small inn that story start? It's called it Admiral Benbow. Jim Hawkins is tell us the story. He said the story start a long time ago while I was, you know, a little boy, about 12 years old, or exactly 12 years old. The story starts by that is, you know, the horse coming, that is, you know, pull a cart. And there is, you know, the old sailor is coming in this. He's wearing, you know, a blue coat exactly. The name of this, you know, uh, old sailor is, is Captain Bally. Captain Bally. So Captain Bally, one is coming, he's holding something with him. What is the something that Captain Bally is holding? He's holding a sea chest. Wow, look, this sea chest. He's holding a sea chest. He's coming and ask, you know, about the situation of the Admiral Bimbo. He asked, you know, firstly, he knocked on the door. Knock onto the door. James' father opened the door. It's really remember something, my students. Admiral Bimbo, it's a very quiet place. Not very customers as usual, you know, visit this Admiral Bimbo. The only one the visitors, you know, stay at or the customers stay at the Admiral Bimbo for you know only one night, just drinking, right, rum or hot drink, and also you know, so take a meal or sleep one night. But really, Jamie said, I could remember this one traveler who stay as uh, several weeks. His name is Captain Bally. It's really Captain Bally one is coming, you know, to the Admiral Bimbo. He's coming, you know, singing a sailor thing. He said, 15 men on the damages. Oh, yeah, bottle of rum. He asked Jam's father, he said, there is many people in this inn. Jam's father said, no, we have just, you know, a few people. So at that time, he gave Jam's father four gold coins. Remember, four gold coins. The father said, tell me when I spent it is all and show me my room. So Jam's father took the sea chest to the room. So it's really, you know, Jim Hawkins, you know, he's wondering about this exactly, travelers, okay, visitors, and he's never forget his remember it as usual. And this, you know, the old sailors, as usual, drank ram and sang and shouted. And sometimes he said, boy, give me a ram. When Jim brought the ram, he said, Jim. He told Jim stories. What the kind of the stories he told the Jim? He told him, you know, stories about the pirates, about the sheep, about the robbing sheep and killing men. And also he said, Jim, he asked Jim to do something. What exactly he asked Jim to do for him? So he asked Jim to watch a man with one leg. When he asked him, you know, he said, Jim, do this and I will pay you well. It's really, you know, Captain Belly afraid about one tractor exactly, one person, that the person have one leg. So day after day, you know, when the winter is coming, it's really James, you know, father got ill. And it's really James become very busy to look after the Admiral Bimbo. Remember, where is Admiral Bimbo? Admiral Bimbo in the south coast of England. Admiral Bimbo in the south coast of England. Remember this. Okay. So James' father become ill completely and sleep on the bed. It's really, you know, it's never take a rest because the old... Captain is shouting as usual, 
and crying when he drank. So it really, no, there is a kind doctor come as usual in the morning to look after James' father. Remember, the name of this doctor is Dr. Levisi. It's really Dr. Levisi, you know, as usual, coming to look after James' father. So his name is Dr. Levisi. Remember, Dr. Levisi. So it's really, you know, and uh, one day, okay, Dr. Levisi was in upstairs with James' father, exactly. So there is, you know, a strange visitor is coming. And this really strange has come to the main room, he found James sitting. And you know, he's coming directly. James surprised, because really, you know, this man is a stranger. He's ragged clothes, ragged period. When he's coming immediately, he said, uh, where is Captain Bell? James afraid, he's never want to tell him that Captain Bell is here, he said. He's keeping silent. He said, I want to talk to him. At that time, Captain Bell has come from upstairs to downstairs to the main room. And he didn't know, you know, there was a stranger here. The stranger said, Captain Bally. That means this old captain's name is Captain Bally. Captain Bally said, Black Dog, what do you want? Black Dog, ah, we want to talk. We want to talk. It really, you know, at that time, the Black Dog he said, Boy, give us ram. Jim went to the kitchen to bring around. When he came back, he found, you know, so there is a little fighting. It's happened between no blind dog and, you know, Captain Bali. It's really, you know, Captain Bali have, you know, small swords call it cutlass. You know, he have a cutlass. He raised it, you know, and the blind dog is kept out. And it's really blind dog, you know, it's kept out of to the inn. And the captain, you know, he wants, you know, to cut off his head. But really... Never hit him. He had him on the sign above to the inn door. When he coming back, you know, he's fell onto the ground. And really, you know, Jim is crying, help me. So when he's coming, Dr. Levis said, I told you, if you are going to drink a ram, you will be died. So it's really, you know, at that time, because as usual, when he drank, one day he's, you know, he's making a shouting, Captain Bally, make shouting loudly. Dr. Levis said, hey, be quiet. There is a sick man is upstairs. Truly, you know, Captain Bell is wondering, said, what? What did he say? No one tell me what to do. Truly, because he's refused completely to do someone, you know, to talk to him. So it's really when he's fell onto the ground. So James called, cried loudly. He said, mm, Dr. Levisi, help. When Dr. Levisi is coming, you know, he said, I will say, one day he will be died. The ram is going to kill him. So James and Dr. Levisi helped the captain onto the bed. Sleep on the bed. So it's really after that, you know, right now, James have a two sick men. His father and the Captain Bally. He's look after them both. But really, when the winter is come, you know, James is becoming you know, only one person, you know. So it's ill because, you know, James' father so died one night, okay, suddenly. All right now, you know, so James father's diet and this my students is you know chapter one exactly this is called it's analysis you know analysis when you say analysis you know just you know it's a plane the coming time we will discuss you know about chapter two is a bright a black spot thank you so much dr abdallah with you